Okay, I'm going to show a demo here, um, the acceleration, accelerometer telemetry demo. What we have here is we have one spot that, as it's moved around, is going to transmit its, the forces it feels through its accelerometer, XYZ forces, transmit those over the radio uh, to a base station, which is connected to a host computer. And then on that host computer, there's a, a desktop program running to display those forces and let us see them. So first thing you can notice is this green light and the LED indicates that the spot has connected up to the base station. So we're going to go and ask the whole thing to reconnect. What you'll see is uh, a red light there when the spot is disconnected, doesn't know where the base station is. It will then broadcast out a packet saying, hey, anybody out there, you'll see a green light go on next to it. And then when it gets a reply back from the base station saying, yeah, here I am, then the light will go back to be green. So we'll reconnect. And it, and we'll do it one more time. If it didn't find a, a base station then, it would be rebroadcasting every 10 seconds or so until it did find one. Okay, so what we now have, what we're going to do is we're first going to calibrate the spot so that the host application knows what its, what the zero level is. This is like zeroing out a scale. So we'll push the calibrate button here and you'll see the blue LED going on on the remote spot. Okay, and now we're going to start collecting data. Uh, initially, all the values coming over are saying zero force, so we just throw them out in this program. But now once I pick up the spot and start moving it, now we can see this is the Z direction, this is the X direction, and this is the Y direction. Okay, so now if I stop the data coming in and go back and look at that, sometimes hard to see what all is going on, so let's, let's magnify things, zoom in, and then let's turn off the other forces. So right now we're just looking at the Z-force, and you can see the sort of shaking I'm doing on the accelerometer there. Um, as we move it over, uh, the force gets less, and now if we start looking in the X direction, we see strong forces in that, and if we go a little further down and we turn on the Y, we can see that, yes, yes, indeed, all three axes are responding. Uh, the accelerometer has two scales, a 2G and a 6G, so we can switch back and forth between them here. Um, and that, we can also filter if we have noisy data. Now, this is pretty smooth data, so let me bring up a previous collected data. Um, this was collected when the spot was hooked up to a uh, attached and mounted in a slot car that was then sent around the track. Um, and the noise, it's much noisier data. Let's just look at the data, the yaw forces as the car turns from side to side. And what we're going to do here is let's clean them up. We'll apply a filter to it, a smoothing filter, um, and we'll make the filter a little bit stronger for going from average of five samples to average of nine samples. And let's zoom in a little more, and now what you can see, sort of some small forces on, on the car as it was moving down the track, then it starts to go into a turn, one direction, uh, then there's a little turn the other direction, and more turn the first, and you can see much more force there. Here's another big turn going one way, uh, other force there as you move down. Um, and if we looked at some of the other forces that were going on in the car, like here's just the, the Z forces up and down, just as it moves down the track. Um, we can look at the uh, acceleration force um, as it moves down and see that too. Okay, so that's the accelerometer telemetry demo.